जय श्री माता जी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दल बो डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेजा मदर कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन
श्री माता जी काइंडली स्टैब्लिश ऑल द क्वालिटीज ऑफ श्री गणेशा विद इन अस रिसाइट श्री गणेश मंत्र Let's bring our attention on our Sahasra. Shri Mata Ji, we welcome you on our Sahasra, Mother. Kindly reside in my Sahasra and allow us to feel your lotus feet. always on our sahasra shri mata ji kindly establish our self realization in this meditative state we will now hear shramata ji speech today is uh, the first day New Year's Day, according to the Shalivana uh, calendar, who were my forefathers, and in the whole of Maharashtra, it is regarded as the New Year Day and the best day to start in it. So today, I have decided to have Mahamaya Puja. I have never talked about Mahamaya, because it is not to be talked or told. It's a secret, as they say. <laughs> It's the basic of Sahaja Yoga, I should say, because 
is described when the goddess comes in the sastrara, the Shakti, she is Mahamaya, Sastrare Mahamaya, already described. She has to be the Mahamaya, means she should camouflage herself fully. Nobody should be able to know her as the Goddess, to begin with. And even if they get Realization, they should not reach to the end of it. There are many reasons for that. First thing, the job. The job of Mahamaya was to give Realization. Now, if I had come on a tiger with a sword in my hand, nobody would have stood there, but <laughs> all would have run out. In any other form, if the Goddess had come, she could not have done what she was supposed to do. Moreover, only if she had come as the Mother of Christ, or Sri Sita Ji, or you can say Fatma Bi, they all ended their lives. They had to go away from this world so early. They couldn't do any work whatsoever. Now, this work, difficult work of giving Realization to others, is very intricate. It has to work out in such a manner that nobody feels that it is done by some great Personality or with a great awe or fear. So, the Mahamaya Incarnation has to come that people can come closer. Also, it has one advantage, very great advantage is, that when a simple person, who is just a housewife, starts giving Realization, people are flabbergasted. Also, they think, if she can do it, do it, why not we do it? After all, she is just an ordinary housewife. So it's all right, if she can do something, we can also do it. So they have self-confidence. And being a mother, she does her loving part, her compassion, but the greatest is the patience. You see, none of them had so much patience, all these incarnations who came. You see how they disappeared from this Mother Earth quickly, you see, by some excuse or other. But I had to stay, I don't know how long, but it has to be done up to a point, this work of giving Realization. The third thing was that you have to be identified into my body, into my cells of my body. But this is a more difficult task, because supposing one of you becomes stupid, becomes foolish, quarrelsome, anything you do, any small thing, it hurts. It has to. But I don't think about myself, I always think about you. So it's an indication to me that something has gone wrong somewhere. Somebody is doing something wrong to somebody. Some Sajogis are being tortured. Some are sick. Anything like that, I work it out very intensely and intimately. Recently, today only, they told me somebody has got meningitis in Australia. Immediately I gave Bandhan, I'm sure such a person should be cured, if she has any faith in Me and she is in My Being. Or somebody is Ill, Ill somewhere, they tell Me, and such a person is saved. They call it a miracle, it is not a miracle. It's not a miracle. It's again the Mahamaya's blessings, like this. You can't see how you are inside Me, you can't see your reflection within Me, you can't see. This is Mahamaya, this is the secret part of it, that you don't know. And then when I feel the pain and if I try, look at it, because I have power to cure, so you get cured. You don't know how it happens. Pani <coughs>
collectively whatever you feel i get it in my body for example collectively if you have a left wrist i get it if you have uh say right wrist i get it any chakra that you catch collectively i get that problem and i have to solve it because it troubles me so i solve it it's a compulsion that i have to solve it now in doing so see you might think mother we are troubling you are not it's my it's my doing i have taken you into my self you haven't so you don't have to worry as to as if you are troubling me it's my own doing it's my own work it's my own responsibility and if i have done it it's done it because i'm supposed to do it that's the job i have to do so there's nothing to feel bad about it but now what is the purpose as i told you is that i could come close to you and i need not uh, sort of fill you with fear or oddness or even a feeling that i am not a human being i behave exactly like human being i react exactly like human being and all these powers are hidden within myself unless and until you are a realized soul you won't understand whatever you may do you won't understand or maybe in the previous life you had your realization or maybe also you have done such tremendous uh, punyas that you can recognize there are people like that who have done it but to make it more sort of congenial to you is to become absolutely a human being so i married i had children i had grandchildren and uh, i do shopping as you say people are surprised how i take coca cola i'm not supposed to take coca cola or i eat what kya kehte hai usko popcorn that's a fact but i i have to be just like but inside i am not outside i am see my attention is such that it penetrates into any everything and i remember each and everything very well my memory is very good even at this age so you see this attention itself is very penetrating and when it penetrates it carries with it all the powers that are required and acts it's a tremendous machinery i should say which is very subtle and works wonders so you start telling me if there is a miracle that has happened miracle that has nothing is a miracle because if you are all in my body and if my body is divine then what is a miracle is all the communication as this hand can communicate with this hand i communicate with you but one thing is definite that you should not get lost with this uh, rupa of mahamaya it's a very dangerous thing because once you get lost oh mother after all you see like that then it doesn't act it doesn't work out it's a, not a casual thing but i want to live very casually myself to show that i'm casual but i'm not while you should not pay your attention casually that that won't work out because you are in my body say every cell in my body is aware and every uh, cell has a reflector i don't know about you know about it but there is a reflector you know which works on remote control so it works on remote control on your attention also if your attention is not all right it corrects it puts it that's the best way we could evolve human beings there was no other way out because the attention of the people is on the whole in the whole world is not yet on the spirit but suddenly they get a glimpse that there must be something beyond so many religions have come so many have talked about it so they may say about it they may talk about it but the, still the consciousness that we have to be the spirit is among very few people 
and they are the ones called as the seekers of truth. While the rest of the people are not that busy with this, so that, oh, I'm very happy, uh, I'm very happy with myself, and uh, I enjoy, you enjoy your holiday, I'll enjoy my holiday, like that. So under these circumstances, one had to come in a camouflage, enter into like, you see, they are like enemies, I would say, enemies of God's love. So you have to enter into them like a spy, camouflaging yourself, you see, and make them dance here and there, let them get lost a little bit here and there, let them see for themselves, because with Mahamaya, you see, she allows you. Now, there are some Sajogis who left Sajoga, went off. I said, all right. If they have gone, very good. Good riddance or bad rubbish, doesn't matter. And then they again come back. Mothers, this happened to us, that happened to us. Somebody got this, somebody got that. We got met with an accident, then somebody got the sickness, somebody. Uh, is very unhappy, we broke our marriage, all kinds of things. And when they say like this, I mean, they do like this, I just smile. So it's a bad coin, all right, doesn't matter. Again they come back to such. But they are left behind their others. They come up, but slowly. Because they have suffered, so they have come, in a way, is a good example for others, that we don't want to suffer anymore. The sufferings do not come from Mahamaya, by any chance. On the contrary, once you have called me the Mother, you see, the, there is a protective attention on you. Then you misbehave, cross all the limits and things, then it acts on you. This uh, action has taken place in, uh, in many cases. Some of them have come back, some are still hanging around and are doing wrong things, because they have done terribly wrong things and they know they will be found out. Now the worst thing that happens in Sahaja Yoga, that people try to make money out of me, because they know I don't understand money, I don't understand banking, and uh, I'm very bad at it, but I'm not. I know everything. <laughs> I know everything about everyone. They tell me lies, I know that they are telling me lies. But he's allowed. Do what you like in such a way. You yourself will have to pay for it. It's something so great with this Mahamaya Rupa, that directly I don't have to say anything. You don't even know that it's done. When it happens, you, they come rushing to Me, Mother, it has happened. Now, I have not done anything directly, neither indirectly, but once you go out of the protection of your Mother, there are negative forces all around you, which also you don't see, because you are partly blind, you couldn't see your Mother and you couldn't see the, these negative forces. Also. Then you fall a prey to their talk, things, whatever it is, or maybe into some paradoxical culture as you have here, you may fall a tra prey to that. There's somebody I know in Sahaja Yoga who has gone now and he is now drinking a lot and he's uh, doing all kinds of things. So, such a person gets lost because of his doings, I'm not doing anything to him. If you are with Me, if you are in Sahaja Yoga, you are protected, you are looked after, but you have to stick on, you have to have faith. And even if there is any problem, it gets solved. But those who have gone out of it, who go beyond My reach, then they suffer. So even indirectly I would say, I am not in any way harming them, because I have decided not to harm anyone. That I have decided on, especially those who call Me Mother, I don't want to harm them. But they get harmed, no doubt, they get harmed very badly. So, if it has happened, it's just take it up, all right, doesn't matter, Mother forgives everyone, it has happened, has happened, this is a lesson for Me, it was something because of it happened, and now I'm back. And then you 
become sometimes a better surgery than many of them. This kind of happening is very common in every country. But you see, this whole culture, I feel, is so paradoxical. Whole culture is so paradoxical. And what is paid for is something that is ugly, what is paid for something that is sinful, whatever that is filthy, dirty, is paid for and accepted. So very paradoxical because it goes against growth of spirituality. One side you are spiritual, you want to be spiritual. Another side you have this paradoxical culture which takes you down to hell. It's like a story once uh, Baba Mama told me, very interesting story it is. He said that some people did lots of punyas, so they were taken to to heaven, but they saw everybody was meditating nicely, enjoying. He said, what is this? We did this also with Sahaja Yoga. What's the use of doing it here again? We should have something else. So let's have a look at the hell. So they went down to see the hell. And outside they were having all these paradoxical culture of nude women and nude men dancing, shouting, screaming, dirty, filthy things going on. Yeah. So they said, this seems to be very different, you know. So they said, the people who were doing all these acts, they asked, why are you here? They said, we've come here uh, only for uh, seeing the hell. Oh, all right. There are peep holes you see through them. So they had big, big holes out of which they started seeing. So in one hole, they saw people being put into some sort of a filth, a pus and this, uh, then another into feces, this, that, another into uh, sort of a mire, which was out of which they could not come out or shouting. Then there's another one where they were boiled in the boiling oil and some were beaten up, there were snakes and scorpions and this. They said, what is this all? Said, that is hell, you wanted to see, that is hell. You want to go, you can go there. So, they said, what are you doing here? This is publicity department for hell. They ran back to heaven and asked forgiveness that we don't want this hell had enough of <laughs> So like that, you see, the whole world is a camouflage. If you see, this is an anti-Mahamaya. So, they say that this Maya is created by God. No. The Maya that God has created is this world, this whole universe and all that. But this elusive life is created by human beings absolutely through their uh, projections of their brains and mental capacities, they have projected because money is everything. If money is everything, by hook or crook, if you have to get the money, then do what you like. When every day you read in the newspaper, I mean, horrible stories about how people want to make money, how they want to sell their daughters, how they want to sell their wives. Anything is all right as long as you have money. If you can make money, nothing like so this is one of the illusions that human beings have created, is what you call, is money maya. And in that comes also the wealth, possessions, materialism. Everything is created by human beings. And this creation of materialism then boils you down to a personality which is involved in all sinful act. Everything is all right, because if money is all right, materialism is all right. For example, the way people went down to America, Spanish, and killed so many Aboriginals there. Then also English went and all kinds of people went there in America. The way they have tortured is something is you cannot think how human beings can behave like this towards ordinary uh, people who are just simple uh, 
people living in the jungles. How can you do such a thing to them? Such horrible, uh, you can call it a genocide. It's really a terrible thing they did it. We know more about this uh, Germans, the way they behaved recently. But even in those days, they used to do all kinds of things. And the nature, which is a Maya of God, which how it takes respite. There were people in America, Central America, near River Mississippi and Missouri. They were called as rednecks, long time. He must be remembering it. And because they were called rednecks by the black, they used to kill so many blacks, they used to hang their children on the tree, they used to throw their bodies in the river, sometimes get them drowned, did all kinds of things to the black people. Under the name that they were white people and they are superior and something, behaving worse than animals. Now you know their floods came in, terrible floods came. And those floods drowned these rednecks beyond their necks. And so many were dead. One would say that, how could it happen? It is. Another example I'll give you is uh, the, you see, the way Americans were treating all these Bolivians and the Colombians, that they would buy everything from them very cheaply. And uh, like wheat and everything, very cheap, just the minimum profits they had. And they would sell it at a double price and make money. All this uh, was really criminal to do from any uh, point of view, but they were doing it. I went to, I don't know what year it was, 1978 or so, into Colombia. And there was one, one man came in the party, I was with my husband. He said, I've heard you are a great saintly person from India. Can you give us some blessings that we really hit these Americans nicely and see, see them off? Because the way they are exposing us uh, to our poverty and things, they are horrible. I said, why do you want to hit them? No, they require it, otherwise they will not be all right. It's just in the party, I didn't want to discuss it all right. And you know, this cocaine came up there. And if you go and see now that place I've been to, Bogota, with my husband, it was like a shanty town, absolutely like a shanty town, made of tin and this and that. Now it, big, big buildings are there, and you have escalators and everything. They used to bring uh, petrol in, with the donkey's cart, can you imagine? In such a short time, it has become such a big country. And not only that, but now, the whole America is afraid of them, even Australia. The drugs are taken by Americans themselves. In Washington, there is such a lot of storage of drugs that they don't know what to do. And even the senators are taking two drugs. Can you imagine? I won't be surprised one day Mr. Clinton lands up with some drugs. The way it is such a fashion, it is such a fantastic thing for them. You go to any party of elite people, which I have to sometimes, they only talk about drugs, you see, you, you want which drug you like. I don't like any drug. No, if you want, you can get it cheaply in this, you know, if you go there, you can get it there. They discuss it in the elite parties. Also about gurus, you see, which guru you want, there is a sale on of a such and such guru, on a bargain, you can go like that. You know, it's all so stupid, I tell you. I said, these people are so immature, worse than children. They are not grown up, seen only in age. They have done good, maybe in mechanism and all those things, but that has nothing to do with your personality growth. And that's why I find them just like dwarves, the way they have attitude towards things. And everyone practically must have taken drugs, everyone, except for Asians, may not have, because now I've learned that there are two genes which protect the Asians, but the white skin has no those genes which to protect.
will recite the three maha mantras We thank you Shri Mata Ji for this beautiful collective morning meditation. Let's all bow down to Shri Mata Ji. Raise our mother Kundalini and put Bandhan.
will join again tomorrow at the same time for the collective morning meditation jay shramataji